transforming quadratic functions in the form of function of x equals to a multiplied by the quantity of x minus h raised to the power of 2 plus k. To understand this, let's have our example. We have here function of x equals to 7 x squared. We will transform this given equation in the form of function of x equals to a multiplied by the quantity of x minus h raised to the power of 2 plus k. Looking at the two equations, 7 here, this will be equivalent to a. And x raised to the power of 2. This is equivalent to the quantity of x minus h raised to the power of 2. And for k, we can see that there is no value for k here. k here will be equal to 0. So, transforming our original equation, this will now be function of x equals 2. Our a is 7, so this will be 7. And then, since this is x squared, we will have here the quantity of x. And since there is no h, so h here is 0 also. So, x minus 0 and x squared, that will be raised to the power of 2 plus our k here, there is no k since it is 0, so this is 0. Our a here will be equal to 7. Our h is equal to 0. And our k is also equal to 0. Therefore, function of x equals to 7 multiplied by the quantity of x minus 0 raised to the power of 2 plus 0. This is our final answer. Our next example, we have here function of x equals to 5x squared minus 6. We will transform this equation in the form of function of x equals to a multiplied by the quantity of x minus h raised to the power of 2 plus k. Looking at the two equations, we can see that 5 here will be equivalent to a and x raised to the power of 2. This will be equivalent to the quantity of x minus h raised to the power of 2. And negative 6 here, this will be equivalent to k. Let us now transform our original equation. This will now be function of x equals 2. Our a is 5, so this will be 5. And our x raised to the power of 2, this will be the quantity of x. Since we have no x here on x raised to the power of 2, our h will be 0. And raise this to the power of 2 plus, okay? But instead of plus, this is negative 6. So our k here, so our k here, instead of positive, this will now be minus, and our k is minus 6. The value now of a, this will be equal to 5. Our h, our h will be equal to 0. And our k, this is equal to negative 6. Therefore, function of x equals to 5 multiplied by the quantity of x minus 0 raised to the power of 2 minus 6. This is our final answer. Next, we have here function of x equals to x squared minus 2x minus 15. This equation is of the form a x squared plus b x plus c. Our a here, this is equal to, since we have no number here before x squared, that is equivalent to a. And if there is no number, that is understood as 1.
our b here this will be equal to our b is the constant negative 2 so that is the number before x so our b this is equal to negative 2 our c here this will be equal to the constant or the last term and the last term here is negative 15 our c is negative 15 we will let function of x be equal to y this will now be y is equal to then we'll just copy that will be x squared minus 2x minus 15 if our given equation again is of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c we need to find for the perfect square here of the right term so to do this we need to transpose or transfer negative 15 to the left side transforming we will have here y and if we transpose negative it will change sign it will become positive 15 and this will be equal to x squared minus 2x now to make this a perfect square we have to find for the third term to get the third term we will have here 1 all over 2 multiply this by b and raise this to the power of 2 we have here 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2 this will be 1 over 4 and this will be multiplied by our b the value for b that is negative 2 so our b is negative 2 raise this to the power of 2 and this will be 1 over 4 multiplied by negative 2 raised to the power of 2 that is equal to 4 and this will be 4 divided by 4 is 1 our equation now will be y plus 15 this is equal to x squared minus 2x and our third term here this is positive 1 so we will have here plus 1 now take note whatever is added on the right side must also be added on the left side our equation now will be y plus 15 and since we added 1 we will also add 1 here and x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 this will be y 15 plus 1 that is 16 so this will be y plus 16 and this is now a perfect square so if this is a perfect square we will rewrite that as x raised to the power of 2 and since this is positive and this is negative 2 we will put here negative 1 and to make this as function of x equals to a multiplied by the quantity x minus h raised to the power of 2 plus k we need to transpose this again back to the right side transposing we will have y is equal to x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 and if we transpose the positive sign will change to negative this will now be negative 16 and we will then change back so we will let y again equals to function of x and this one and this will now be function of x is equal to the quantity of x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 16 our a here since our a here since there is no number here this is considered as 1 our h here will be so this is of the form x minus h okay so this is negative and this is also negative 
our h will be equal to positive. So our number there is positive 1. Our k here will be the last term and this is negative 16. So our k will be equal to negative 16. Therefore, function of x equals to the quantity of x minus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 16. This is our final answer.